This programme is brought to you by Mental Arts and Products Deep Heat and Deep Freeze and Willie McLernan at Farmer Auto Care, official sponsors of East Kilbride FC TV. Lonely Cup semi-final day. We're at K Park, it's East Kilbride and it's Cumbernauld Colts. And the Colts first year in the Lone League and they finished ahead of East Kilbride in the league, which is great for them, really being competitive, finished in fourth place. And they're obviously the first time in this competition, looking to reach their first ever final at this level in this competition. East Kilbride have won this last year, of course, loans it back again and Boyd after the late comeback against three midweek. Smith and Hastings, the two up front again. Martin McBride, captain the side once more. It's Howie and Proctor, the two centre half today. And Jacob Keane, who's done so well in all the cup competitions that he's been involved with, is in goal back in today in this semi final. As we say, the Colts have really adapted the Lone League really, really well. A good side, Andy Ward is the captain. And the likes of Blair Munn, who has got experience higher up with Falkirk, Allen, and Sterling Albion, the 21 year old. Jonathan Black on the bench is ex Patrick Thistle. But James Orr and Craig McKinley, the co managers, looking to reach this cup competition final after a great season domestically. The Colts like East Kilbride, like a number of sides, now with ambition to get into SPFL action in the years to come. Edinburgh City doing well in the playoffs at the moment. The champions of the last two years. And it is the Colts to get this going in the semi final. Place the only cup final up for grabs. In the corner and taken by Keane. Keane looking to get some options and finds Call. That's a cracking ball for Jack Smith. Oh, didn't quite get there, but the keeper barges in. Fahey, it's a penalty. What a start. Four minutes barely gone. Penalty to East Kilbride. Well, in behind, they went. Ramsey was done, and the keeper had to come out. And Fahey with a needless shove. And Jack Smith. Taking towards five minutes on the clock, Sean Winter. Brilliant penalty, 1 0. What a start for Kelby in the semi final. No nerves with that penalty from Sean Winter. Calls throw. Hastings. It's been won back by the Colts and now Kerwin. Hastings look like a little shove. Kerwin's going to take it on. It's all across the face of goal. Neil couldn't pick up. Man forward for Selkirk. Still going Andrew Selkirk has support. It's dragged by Broadfoot. Fahey who conceded the penalty in the first four or five minutes. Now Bray trying to collect for Kilby. Miller forward. He's things in the chase and the pressure here is. The captain Ward. And he's still on the pressure on Hastings for two. Got five there with the save. Miller finds Jack Smith. Brady. Winter. Brady setting himself up. Too high. McBride forward. Winter, good touch. Looking to take on Ramsey and by Ramsey. 
Oh, that skiff there by Anton Brady. Had space in the box, but didn't quite tee up right. He knows it. <laughs> Smith to Clett, onside despite the hands up from Ward. Tried to play in Winter, back to Smith. Chance here for Miller, blocking by Oliver. Still not away, Smith there again. A lash from Brady. Half time. And East Kilbride have the lead in the semi-final. Quick start, penalty. Poor decision from Fye. The keeper fouled Jack Smith. Winter stepped up. And that was the opener. And it's been a pretty even Stevens game since then. But Kelby have the lead. One goal to nil. And it's East Kilbride in their white jerseys to get us going. Far better first half than they did midweek. And a great second half, and you can now they get going straight away with Miller. Miller cross for Winter and just about done enough. Colts corner. It's really high. It's a good area. Barkley was one trying to get a flick on. Another whipped in delivery. It's punched away by Keane and cleared further. Oh, a foul here as the sub Sheridan. O'Neill. Decent drive, but easy for Keenan. It's probably going by anyway. Four it goes for Winter. Hastings still going. Smith. Oh, it's not far away from Jack Smith. Someone found a little gap, which is not quite big enough. Miller has an excellent game. Lively. Winter. Always rising for Sean Winter. Final for this competition is next Sunday. EK in there at the moment. Hardy's long ball. It's testing the keeper in. Fies to tip it over. Over away. What a chance that was, <laughs> unexpected from Young Hardy. Taken quickly, Smith and McBride. Brady! Is that the cup final? I can hear the bus getting started for the supporters. Just over on the hour mark. Still a bit of time left, but a lovely finish. Pinged by Anton Brady. No chance for Fahey. East Cobride 2, coming all Colts now. It's another lonely cup final. It's picked up and Proctor drives on. Hastings, can he finish it off? Round the keeper, he's going to take it too far. Not quite. Call forward again. Here's Winter looking for the third. Oh, it's side netting and round the back. Took a yellow neck. Good play again by Miller. I think it was going further away than what it looked initially. Smile on the face, good day. McBride. McBride's dig this time. Just can't quite get the third goal, can they? But very much in control. Sheridan with a wide to O'Neill. There's further space. Taken easily by Jacob Keenan, really the second goal's 
Took the wind in the sails. That's a lofty one. Full time and East Cobride have another cup final and it's a cup final they're having to defend. And Deja Vu, Gretna 2008 will be the opponents again. Next weekend, Kelber back to win the Wally Cup again. And I think we can call it a de facto treble with East of Scotland qualifying cup and main cup. That they both uh, won those finals. They're going to do it again. Cumroll Colts, excellent season. They could well be rivals to East Kilbride in the title race next season. Really having a credit and a real strength to the league. But East Kilbride are through. And it has been announced that Netherdale will be the place. Get yourself down if you can. Should be another crack atmosphere. Hopefully a good day weather-wise. We'll have highlights as well of the Lonely Cup final. East Kilbride looking to win it again against Gretna 2008. But from producer and cameraman David Craig and myself, Carl Patterson, Kelby to the Colts nil here at K Park. Thanks for joining us.